Bet you're surprised to see me, aren't you? And you're probably wondering, what am I gonna do this time? What am I doing here? What am I doing with this last part here? There's actually something I forgot to bring up in my critique. Is that a lot... Of, I said a lot of things in the last couple of parts or so. About, um... How I've talked about how the Majora's Mask isn't really for me. And I kind of let off a little bit in saying things that like... You know, I kind of felt selfish or something. And like doing these quests and something with the side quests. Uh, I, I felt like I did a pretty good beating on that. And I also feel like I owe a lot to the Majora's Mask players. Is that I felt like... They, they've given me really a whole lot in order to help me respect this game, so... I feel like... Let's do one more thing, is that let's do the Anju and a Cafe side quest. And so... This is what I want to do for one last critique or something. For you guys, for the Majora's Mask players. Is that I've said that this game isn't really for me. And, and things or something, but I've also said that, um... That I kind of, under, kind of understand uh, where, from your perspective... And what you enjoy from Majora's Mask, but I don't think I've really properly really brought it up in my critiques before is that Well, let's shift this around a little bit is that How much do I understand how much the side quests like mean to you is that I've never really brought that up to you before It's because I think a big part in understanding about Majora's Mask is understanding why a lot of other people like it And I've been kind of criticizing like the side quests like the entire time and I haven't really spoken about it from your side so let me, for this last part, for this bonus part, let me represent for you. Let me fight for you. And saying why Majora's Masks with the side quests are really great. And I think this is the last thing I, I can bring up. And I, you know what? I owe, I owe it a lot to you guys. So let's do the Anju and a Cafe's quest. And oh, that's the star th quest in the game. And of course, let's do it. Let's, let's get the full enjoyment out of this. And of course, I don't need to worry about the... I don't have to worry about the four dungeons or doing the final thing or anything, so I can kind of take my time doing this as I need to. So, let's get started. Is that, with this with this critique and everything, is that, um, what is it that you like from the Majora's Mask uh, when it comes to the side quests and everything? Is that, I've talked about before, uh, when it came to a critique in this game, is that, uh, I mentioned about the three-day time limit, how it felt, uh, unfulfilling, and, um... It felt unfulfilling, unfulfilling in the point that after the three days are done, then the character development like goes back to zero, and that, and that um, to me or something that kind of feels kind of unimpressive to me. It doesn't feel very satisfying. But let me talk from your perspective and why this is a brilliant thing for you and what makes Majora's Max just kind of stand out for you. So let me let me show it to you just how much I kind of understand it from your viewpoint and why Majora's Mask is such a fantastic game for you when it comes to these side quests. Is that I want you to okay hold on for one sec. Oh that mask you too. You're also looking for Kevin. I was totally booked right before the carnival. We're sorry to have to turn people away. Okay, so let's see here. We got to... Let's see, I think uh, something with like the Goron or something. Oh yeah, I remember there's like the letter or something that like comes from the postman, right? I think if I remember right. Did I have a chance to ask you to do the same thing earlier? It's telling me to... I think the first thing I have to do is that I have to wait for uh, some kind of room key or something. If I remember right from the 100% strategy guide is that... I... I think I have to wait for some kind of letter or something to arrive from the postman. I think he'll be arriving uh, probably about three hours from now. That's what I'm guessing is that, yeah, and then I start wearing the cafe mask. Uh, yeah, just like unlike her mother, of course, she doesn't think I'm really pro enough to really find the kid or anything. But I know that I have to come to this woman first, Andrew. Okay, so uh, where was I with my critique? Is that, um, so let me vouch for you and why you think the side quest from Majora's Mask is so great for you. is because, uh, do you remember me talking about with the money? Like, you know how you can kind of store up the money at that bank guy? You know, that guy uh, you can kind of deposit your rupees into? And that you can kind of go back in time to, uh, so that way you can get your money later? I think that's kind of the same principle that kind of works with the side quest. Is that you can kind of look into the logical part of it, like what I've been doing with Majora's Mask. But the truth is, is that you don't necessarily have to in order to enjoy those things. So I, what I was doing earlier is that I was kind of being 
I know a lot of people were probably shouting at the screen a couple of parts back because I, I was saying like um, that you know that I was like expecting character development and I was looking t too much into it I was kind of being a little bit too serious with that and I had to agree with you as I, I probably was I was probably being I was probably reading too much logic into it and so I think what the experience means for you personally or something is that I think the big part about what my, what makes the side quest outstanding in this game is the exploration uh, I think if somebody like commented on this just probably about a couple of parts or though too and I agree with him is that he said that it's really stalking people that makes the game so great and I have to agree with that is that a, a big part about Majora's Mask when it comes to the side quests is not it's not really the end result or something that I was kind of talking about or something it's really the kind of journey that's kind of going up to it like uh like you the big part about Majora's Mask is that you have this quest log right here so I'll show you right here this is the big thing about Majora's Mask with the side quest is that you can keep an eye on people and you can kind of experiment in your own free time uh, just like and what you can do in order to help each person uh, I hope that makes sense and so this is the big thing right here is that it may be true you be be given like trophies and accomplishments or something but you're also doing everybody a favor and that's where the appreciation just just kind of comes from this is where the excitement from Majora's Mask has come from is that you're looking at these things right here yeah you're looking at these things right here so that way you can kind of get an approximate time where everybody's at and then this is where the fun of the game comes in is that you're looking through these things right here you're looking through what you can do to help everybody out and, and it's the it's the joy of discovery is that you have to keep an eye on where these individuals are and just kind of follow them all the way through all the way to the end and that's the that's the first part about it like with Majora's Mask with, with the side quests is that I think that's the big thing that everybody's been trying to tell me about it is that don't really yeah I can I can probably say this more to myself more than anything is that Zelda games aren't really logical like there's not really meant to be any logic or anything like read into them so I'm sure a lot of people were upset with me just saying a couple of days ago is that don't read the logic into it like for example with the three-day time limit and that the character development is zero and of course I still have my personal feelings about that but I, I think that's a big thing that we can all agree on like when it comes to Majora's Mask is that it's really the joy of discovering and just knowing how you can help these individuals that's half the fun and of course the other half uh, when it comes to like the side quest or something is actually doing them and actually helping everybody out is that it may be true and things you know that you kind of reset time and everything but it's the end results that's really the big part that really stands out about Majora's Mask that makes it really so great is that you spend so much time trying to help and trying to help out these people just trying to find out their quirks trying to find out their schedules and everything and then uh and then one of the one of the big joys about it just like for the rest of the Zelda series is that after you explore and you spend so much time in order to try and help out these individuals then that's where the satisfaction comes in is that you spend so much time on these guys and uh, you feel for them you kind of feel the for the character development with these guys and when you finally help them then you finally feel like that you've actually done what you're supposed to do as a Zelda player in order to help these uh, individuals out okay so I think uh, I think she's supposed to give me the letter at this point I have a clue that will help you find them tonight at 11:30. please come to our kitchen we'll talk then okay that works so I guess we have our first piece of information I guess uh, I think I'm supposed to get like a room key or something like as a Goron uh, though I don't remember when though so I'm gonna I'm gonna take a little bit of a break here because this is where things are going to get a little finicky with this quest is that I don't really remember from the 100% strategy guide when the Goron is supposed to come but I think I'm supposed to get the room key or something around here and I don't really want to miss out on that so I'll uh I'll be back in just one second okay so I checked up on the room key and I found out that it's not really required and I'm going to be doing the 100% strategy guide for this because I'm only going to do this in just one part and so I don't really want to use any more parts than this and I want to give my full uh, explanation about the side quests and everything so it, I'm gonna be waiting for Andrew to arrive here so that she can give me the letter and everything so here's the thing I have to I'm gonna actually belittle my own game which is Twilight Princess and what it does is that while it may be true that Twilight Princess does have a lot more development in between its characters or something because it goes through a lot more of the game and it's not used on a three-day time limit 
here's the advantage that Majora's Mask has over that game is that Twilight Princess suffers dramatically in the exploration department. In the sense that when it comes to the story, it's just one story the entire time. Like, it's Twilight Princess, that's really what it is. Just one story. It kind of, well, I guess all of the Zelda games are kind of like that, I suppose. But Majora's Mask, it kind of adds a little bit of a flair to it. Is that It may be true that it has its main pot over here, which is the school kid or something. But you had the chance to go out into the world and to go out and experience all of these different stories that all of these other people are having. And that's something I have to preach the, the game for. And that's something I have to praise the game for because it, it does that. It does that spectacularly. Is that right now with the Andrew and Cafe Quest is that I'm getting involved with something that, uh, let's see, uh, I need to talk to her really quick. Sorry to trouble you late at night. It's about him. Cafe. Oh, she looks so sad. I received a letter from him. Strange, isn't it? Getting a letter from a missing person. There's absolutely no mistaking it's from him. It's clear to me. Please? Here's my letter. Please put this in a post box. When this is delivered, when he receives my letter, you should be able to meet him. Please tell him that Andrew is waiting for him. And please, after you've seen him, tell me how he looked. Uh, that's probably the reason he's hiding from you. I'm scared. I can't go. And th this is the big thing about here with Majora's Mask is that... Uh, you can... You can get involved in all of these different people's lives and... Um, you can just kind of feel these genuine pieces of it attachment to each of these characters and that's a big thing about this game if there's one thing I again I have to praise this done this game for not a Twilight Princess is because uh since I think the notebook has probably about like 20 quests or something is that you can get involved with a lot of different stories at once and so it may be true that Twilight Princess may have the more well-developed story but uh Majora's Mask has way more than that. So you have that chance to really associate with a lot of people. I think I already brought that up, but I, I just want to stress that again is that uh, Majora's Mask it has its pros. And sure, and uh, Twilight Princess, uh, same thing, is that it has its pros that can kind of stand it out from other games, like when it comes to dungeons or something. But when you have this, all of this uh, library of uh, going out into the world and really getting that fresh feeling of freedom and that you have the chance to help out all of these different people Twilight Princess does not do that so I'm gonna be criticizing my own game actually but I think I think I have to put one of these things in the post box I think all right this is the next step of it and then I'll see you at the next part okay I think that takes care of it so I'm gonna be stopping the recording here I'll meet you up at the next checkpoint Okay, now we're, we're, we skipped through a lot of the days, so that way we can get to the part where Cafe comes out and gets the mail now. So, uh, it's going to be about a minute left until he shows up, and, well, that's one of the downsides is that you have to wait a little bit, but, oh well. Majora's Mask has its weaknesses, just like everybody else, but, well, who cares. Alright, so the mailman will be by here in just a few moments or so. But what I want to want, what I actually want to talk about next is that, um, I've talked a lot about, i talked a lot about the great things, uh, when it comes to side quests or something, but, now I'm just kind of go a little bit in a different direction is that um while it may be true that there's a lot of pros to, uh when it comes to the side quests uh one of the things that you have to be mindful of uh when it comes to uh players who come across this game is that i want to show you here really quick before the mailman actually shows you this is uh, uh this is just kind of something that's kind of just kind of something to point out from my perspective is that this is really a multitaskers log here is that when it comes to majora's mask is that you're kind of watching over a lot of people at one time, which, which is fine and everything, you know. Uh, when it comes to those who feel like that they can get a lot of organization in and that they know how to get to each of these things and, and know how to keep an eye on all of these different individuals. For me, I'm not really good at keeping an eye on so many people at once. And so if I see this quest log right here, it's a little bit overwhelming for me to really just kind of sit down and and just kind of figure everything out that's really happening right here. Oh, don't get me wrong. It's really great and everything, you know. But, uh, just like what we're doing here with the Anju and Cafe quest is that there's a lot of trial and error just kind of going on around here. And, let's see. Oh. Alright, so I gotta sneak in here really quick. But, I uh, just get a little bit of a note or something. But, anyways, let's just head back to kind of praising this, uh, the side quest or something. But that's just kind of something that's kind of crossed my mind a little bit is that... Uh, I think for those who aren't really multitaskers and just kind of want to stick on one task at a time, like me, 
Uh, it's a little intimidating for some people to get into it, but here's the positive that I can kind of bring up about it is that because, uh, yeah, I remember seeing it in a comp or something that, yeah, it's really following these characters that's really the biggest delight of uh, doing everything here with the Majora's Mask. Oh, he's back in. Is that it's really getting it? I think the biggest appealing factor when it comes to uh, the side quests and everything is just, uh, Okay, so uh, I think that I think that's the biggest thing about Majora's Mask is just really this mystery behind uh, how you really want to go forward with everything. Like right here with Cafe, is that he's uh, exposing himself? Yeah, he's exposing himself at the moment, and you're just kind of following this mystery through all the way over to the end, and then you find out that both of them are supposed to be married, and that's supposed to be something that gets you engaged, and so that's the thing that kind of hooks you into it. And of course, it always comes back to the school kid of, <laughs> you're just like my partner, nice. <laughs> For the wedding ceremony, I was quite happy. I was targeted because of what I had been turned into. <laughs> I pity you. <laughs> wow, that's pretty tactless. <laughs> Can't go out yet. I made a promise to her that I would bring the wedding mask and greet her. This pendant, give it to Angie. And I indeed will. <laughs> understand these growing up matters. I, I guess not since I'm not really married, I guess. Hey, I'm a kid at heart. What can I say? So I think, uh, let's see. I want to like... Things that get stolen in this town always make their way to the curiosity shop. I'm waiting for that to happen. Stand on that crate and peek into that hole. Ooh. And here I can check on the curiosity shop's customers. Ah, indeed you can. Wow, that's quite a people. Wonder why they had this in their office, but okay, well, I'll just go with it. All right, so I got to get over into the next part of the. So let's see. Uh, speak with it. Okay, hold on. I got to get over to the next event, so I don't want really want to miss out on it or anything. So I'll cut to the next thing here. Okay, so it turns out that I can, I can actually keep this in real time, so I can actually head back to Anju and probably give her the pendant. And according to the website I'm talking to, the reason that you want to keep this pendant and give it to her is because she won't leave on the final night before the moon comes out. Because, of course, since the moon is coming out, uh, of course, yeah, that kind of freaks everybody out and they kind of run for it. I, I guess that kind of adds to the story of just how much the Anju and Cafe just really like each other. Or, or love each other, I suppose. Uh, of how much they want to hold on to the hope I, and, and everything. Okay, so we... Ah, oh, darn it. Okay. Let me speak to you. Oh, did you meet him? I indeed did. Oh, she looks so sad. She looks almost kind of in depression. I can kind of see that face. Uh, that's from Cappy. Uh, thank you. Thank you very much. That face looks so happy. Well, it went back to kind of a frown, but okay. Oh, she's looking up now. Woo! She's happy now. Alright, hold up. I gotta get over to the next event, so I gotta stop it here for one sec. Okay, so uh, one of the things that... Well, it's about an hour before this door can open, before I can talk to the Curiosity uh, shop owner, and he'll give me the cafe mask, and uh, I think the little present or something like to cafe's mother or i don't remember anyways somebody's mother i think angie's mother yeah i think it's angie's mother but um i think one thing i can kind of bring up about this is that side quests are a very important thing to zelda is that while it may be true that uh other things are like emphasized more like when it comes to dungeons and, and things like that i think having a game entirely focused around them is never really a bad thing i mean that's one particular special thing about that. Like, I've always enjoyed that with other games like the Oracle of Ages. I talked about it with uh, the Minish Cap. Minish Cap has a ton of uh, side quests too to compensate for its dungeons. It encourages a lot of exploration because of it. Like, there's a lot of hidden goodies around that place. And so, I don't think there's anything really wrong or anything at, at, at all in uh, Majora's Mask. Just, um, just having a 3D game just kind of emphasized all around it. Like, uh... For example, with Twilight Princess is that it's focused a lot more on the story, the cinematic story, and it focuses more on the dungeons. Wind Waker, it has its wonderful, beautiful charm about it. 
So I'd probably say it put more emphasis into the graphics that people happen to like from it. Oh shoot, uh, I'm supposed to go inside, aren't I? It's locked? What do you mean it's locked? Oh, it's one o'clock. This guide lied to me. That's funny that I just caught that right at the last second. Uh, okay, so the guy's supposed to be here. You the green hat kid? Got a message from Kefe. Since he was real little, but when he showed up, looking all young in that little brat body, I didn't know what I was seeing. All it took was one glance at that he was carrying for me to realize that I was looking at my old friend. Gave him that mask a long time ago when he was just little Kefka. Kefe. Did I just say Kefka? Did I just seriously say Kefka? I think I've been uh, doing a lot of Final Fantasy uh, script writing today. I think that's where I got it mixed up. How many times have I said Kefka throughout the entire thing? I hope I haven't said it a whole lot. I don't remember. Okay, and then I think he gives me the second thing. Wants to, to take it to his mother. Priority mail, so hurry up and deliver it. Customer came to my shop last night. Now Cafe sees him and Cafe's color just changes and he goes running after the guy. The guy's a thief, a greedy thief named Saken. Uh, Saken reminds me of a character off of a Samurai Warriors. I don't know if anybody's really seen that, but he's a cool headed guy from that game. Well, he's far from a criminal, though. He's just a strategist, but... Oh, well. That's a completely different game. So, it says here uh, that Kepka's hiding over in Iconic Canyon now. So, we're gonna go meet him up over there. So, yep. He's stowed away over at Icon Iconic Canyon at the moment. And that's where uh, Seiken's gonna be taking his uh, loot. Uh, apparently, I've been reading up on a bit of lore of what's happening here. Is that... um. What happens with Seiken is that um, during the first night or something, I think he's supposed to steal like a bomb bag from that old lady. I remember you get the blast mask from her. And then he takes it over to the curiosity shop and then he sells it. And then uh, I don't remember what he takes back like when I was reading the article. But uh, he comes back to the hide hideouts for some reason afterwards. So yeah, I remember where this hideout is because of the 100% strategy guide. And because this this place, uh, Majora's Mask isn't exactly the biggest map in the world, but it works. But it has a lot of content in it. <laughs> That's the huge, biggest argument of the year. Okay, so I remember that uh, Cafe is, uh... Yeah, he's stowing himself over here in this side ways over here. And it says that it's supposed to start around like 6 o'clock, but we only have like 3 minutes or something before it appears, so... Uh, I'm just gonna let that come out like naturally. Oh, there's that guy. And there's the piece of heart over there, I remember. Yep. So, yep, I think Cafe is right over here. Yep, here he is! Hey, you're looking my size. Green hat boy. <laughs> Using this place as a safe house for keeping... How did he know that? Uh, I'm curious. Like, he may have spied through him, like, when it comes to the curiosity shop. But how did you know his hideout was way over here? Storage for the... Oh, followed him last night, I guess. He's stolen on the other side of the rock door. So you can open it. The only way in is for... Wait for Satan to arrive. Oh, wait. I made a promise to Andrew. He will show up. So anyways, I gotta hide behind the rock here. I think he should be arriving here in about a uh, minute and a half, I think. Then we gotta start fighting for the sun mask. And of course, if I don't do this right, then I have to restart the whole thing back over. But uh, I have to admit, I'm enjoying myself. Like, even though that I'm doing the, I'm doing this with like a 100% strategy guide, this is still fun to kind of follow through with it. Is that, I'll just kind of picture it on the side that you don't, if you don't have a 100% strategy guide and you're just kind of doing this by trial and error and just kind of figuring everything out, is that after you just like dug right through, uh, going through all of this hard effort in order to find out where, how all of this just kind of takes place. This is what makes the quest kind of, it, it kind of feels worthwhile and nostalgic to you. So I can kind of see, uh, when it comes to people just kind of praising this game is that this is the biggest quest that does that. Is that you're spending a lot of time just kind of figuring out how, how to put all of these events together. And it, it excites you, it excites you to... It, it keeps you going on what, what what everything is really meaning for you. So I think you should be arriving here in about uh, 15 minutes, I think. Let's see, supposedly. He's supposed to show up around like 6, right? Is he here? Oh, I didn't really keep him or anything. Oh, I guess I could have used the song in double time, but oh well. So apparently he's supposed to show up here in a few seconds, I think. Or I thought so anyways. Is he coming? Or... Oh, there he is. Here he comes. Here he comes. Here he comes. That thief. I remember seeing you on the edge of the lighthouse one time. 
Here he comes trotting along. Man, that is a weird kind of walk he's doing. Wow. Is that seriously how you walk? Maybe that explains why he's a thief. <laughs> oh, here he comes. He's opening it up. Man, he's got some scrawny walk there. It's like Waluigi. Yeesh! Who walks like that? Okay, he's heading inside. Of course, I gotta follow up right with him. I'm coming, I'm coming. Okay, and then next I gotta slow down time just in case. Oh. There we go, I got it. Okay, now I gotta rush through this and I gotta make sure I do it the first time, and so. Oh, I can't slow down time here, huh? Okay. Oh, that's a problem. Well, I guess we're just gonna have to hurry through this, I guess. Ah! Look, there's a mask there. It's the sun's mask. Ah, uh, you pushed it, you dolt. Now I've done it. Yes, you did. Okay, step on the switch. Yep, I'm working on it. Yes, I get it. Okay, let me push it. Okay, okay, okay. We gotta get hustling. Yeah, I know. It's booking it. Come on, let's go. I know the incinerator, which is kind of weird and inconvenient. Okay. Now let's... Let's get things rolling here. Come on. Okay, can you please get the switch control back over to me? Come on! Come on, let's book it. Oh crap, I didn't mean to do that. Now I made it go like extra fast now. Yep, in my rush I made it go really fast now. Okay, oop. Let's see, I need to think about how to do this. Uh, let's see, let me... Come on! I know I really blew it. Okay. You need to book it though. Come on! I really pushed some switches. Come on, go faster, Link. Incinerator's almost here. Woo! I know I made a few screw-ups there, but I made it. I must get back to town. Yes, indeed. Let's both get back to town. It's kind of good that I didn't use the slowdown song, because I can actually... Okay. Shift control back over to me. Wow, it's taking a long time following him anyways. Alright, so we need to... We need to go back to town. And then we can follow at the conclusion with this marriage. And, and I know that I was supposed to like do this authentically, like without a 100% strategy guide, but I only wanted to spend just one part doing this, so... Uh, it would have taken forever. And I I appreciate the charm. I, expre I appreciate the authenticity or something that... Uh, uh, it's supposed to like go into this quest and everything, but I just simply don't have time So I, I just wanted to do it here in one quick part and I just wanted to express to you that Even though that I kind of disagree with the the whole uh, Doing a whole lot of side quests and everything is that I don't want to ever leave With any Majora's Master players to just kind of say that I hate them. I don't I'm just simply saying that they're not for me is that yeah, it may be true that I'm not really a fan of quests like these when it comes to uh, Anju and Cafe and uh, th things like that. I'm not trying to g give off the impression or anything that it's bad. It isn't. There is nothing... There is nothing bad about anything that's going on here. Oh, I think I went into the wrong room, didn't I? So I think I'm supposed to head into the next one over and then I think I just have to wait from here. 
Oh wait, let me see here. I think it's this one. Yep, here we go. So I think all we have to do is just wait now. But, uh, yeah, I have to agree with the setting right here. Like, when it comes to the Angie and Cafe's quest, and uh, a lot of the quests here on Majora's Mask is really the big thing that kind of invites the Majora's Mask players into this atmosphere. It may be true that I can kind of read logic into it or something, but that's not really how it's supposed to be done. Like, uh, really, look at this room. It's starting to get dark blue now. The music's really starting to invite that Majora's Mask feeling into it. And the earth is shaking. There's a lot of things, like, going on right here to... I uh, kind of give up that give up that vibe that um the, it, it just screams Majora's Mask and that's what everybody really loves about this game and uh, it deserves every single inch of praise that it gets and uh, I'll say it once I'll say it twice I'll say it three times it may be true uh, I'm not a fan of these types of, of environments or something and th that's perfectly fine but that in no way doesn't degrade it from being a bad a good Zelda game and this is exactly how it's supposed to play out. Yeah, so you can just kind of feel that. And I think that's part of the big thing that makes the Angie and Cafe quest, like, here, like, really intimidating. Like, it actually makes the player, like, worried, though, too. Like, you're actually connecting with uh, Angie right here. Is that you're wondering yourself. Like, imagine doing this, like, the first time. Is that you're just kind of sitting here and you're just hoping and hoping and hoping that Cafe will actually show up. You're just kind of, you're just kind of concerned about that too. There's three minutes left on the clock, and you're like, "Is he going to show?" And that's part of the big atmosphere with this moment. Is that, I think that's what makes this place so heartwarming. Is that you're, 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 yeah, you're just like Angie here. You're just concerned, and you're just kind of waiting with anticipation, and you don't know if, uh, if, it, if Cafe is gonna follow up with this or not. Yeah, just like look at that clock. It's really ticking down. It's really starting to get close. It's it's looking pretty stinking close. Yeah, so still like two minutes left on the clock and he still hasn't shown up. So I can imagine like for the first time, like when, yeah, when it comes to a Majora's Mask player, th this is a pretty tight moment. So I, I can see why a lot of people like invite me to do this quest. It's, it, this is a beautiful quest. This is arguably probably the best, uh, one of the best side quests when it comes to the entire series. Just, oh, here we go. He showed up. And I guess this is, uh, I, I have met you before. Yes, we were still young. We made a promise, didn't we? A master of the sun and the moon. We were to exchange them on the day of the carnival time. I guess I kind of have to take back my thing as saying that doing it without the sun mask is uh, as saying that it was unimportant, but it truly is important to these guys. Sorry I was late. Welcome home. <laughs> They're lovers. <laughs> oh, wait a, what a way to shatter the moment. We have exchanged your oaths and have become a couple. You are witnesses. Please accept this mask. Got that a couple's mask. It's filled with their love. Please take refuge. We are fine here. We shall greet the morning together. I think there's one more thing I want to talk about really quick before I close. Is that... Oh, I, I don't know if I should bring it up or not. I mean, kind of ending it on a really good note, though, right? <laughs> nah, I, I probably won't say it. But it's just a little thing, but oh well. I've said everything that I can about this game, and you know what? For everything that you've done to help me to appreciate this game more, I, I hope I can repay the favor in just saying that the side quest is probably one of the in this game it's probably one of the best things that the Zelda series has ever seen and 
I I'm sorry for what I said a couple of days ago. I didn't want to come off as rash or rude and saying that, oh, you're like feeling selfish or something like throughout these quests. So I wanted to give you a proper critique uh, just from your side and just battle the army from your side just for this part to uh, just to let you know that I do understand why Majora's Mask is really such a great game as it is. And I, I just wanted to leave it on that really good note. So, uh, and this will truly be the last part. I'm not doing any more Majora's Mask. I'm not doing any more heart pieces i'm not doing any more masks uh, i think that i think you can't really do a Majora's mask playthrough without the, doing the Andrew and cafe's quest that's just kind of a tradition that kind of that you kind of have to do and, and i agree agree with that is that it's a great way to send things off so this is my very last part i hope you enjoyed it i i and believe it or not i had an awesome time with this game like just uh, knowing just knowing that I was going to have like a rough time or something and then changing it around in my mind to, to a viewpoint that I can actually uh, enjoy the game for a moment, that's priceless. A every comment, every every viewer who has left those kind of comments, uh, thank you so much. A and I simply wanted to do this to you as a, to do this for you as a favor is that I, I owe you so much. Thank you so much for everything. This has been a wonderful experience, wonderful let's play. And we've already beaten the final boss, so we don't really have to go there or anything. But thank you so much, and I will see you later.